today it's just a sort of coppery smoky eye um, stay tuned if you want to see how I've done it so first of all I'm going to take my makeup revolution ultra eyeshadows palette in affirmation and I'm going to take this shade just here and this is just going to be my base shade I'm just using a fluffy brush just to put that all over my lid and up to my brow bone Then from the same palette, I'm going to take this shade just here and using another fluffy brush, I'm just going to start blending it around here. It doesn't matter if you make a mess because I'm just going to wipe it away with a baby wipe afterwards. Then take in this colour just here, black. I'm just going to go and deepen up that crease. Using the same fluffy brush. Sort of just keep doing windscreen wiper motions backwards and forwards until you get the right blend that you're after. Then I'm just going to take my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. Apologies for my nails, they look awful. I'm just using a flat concealer brush, I'm just going to dip a little bit in. And I'm just going to clean up my crease. Make it a lot more sharp. Like that. Then using this colour, which I've ruined in the palette. And that prep and prime spray. I'm gonna dip into that palette now, that colour. Pack it on. almost like a rose gold colour. Seeing as this palette is only £8, I think it works amazingly. I will link the palette in the description, seeing as it's, it's such a cheap palette. That it's, the pigment in it is just amazing. Just keep packing it on. Then I'm going to take another flat brush and go with this colour just here. 
just more of a bronzy colour this one. And I'm not going to wet the brush with it. I'm just going to go over that. Sort of brighten it up a bit. Then just taking a baby wipe, I'm going to clean up the mess around here. For my eyeliner, I'll be using the NYX Cosmetic Matte Liquid Liner in black. Then just go in with whatever mascara you want to use. I'm using the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama. Once you've applied the mascara, I like to do it this way around, you don't have to, you can do it before or after. Um, I'm going to go in with this colour, just here, for my inner corner. So just use a flat brush again, doesn't really matter what brush you use. Just going to lightly put that on. Now I'm going to be putting on my lashes and I'm going to go off camera to do that but I will be using the Ardell Demi Wispies. So now that my eyes are all done, I'm just going to go ahead and use my MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus to prime my face. And then for foundation I'm going to use my Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation in the shade Ivory. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. Then using a ginormous buffing brush. Just buff it out, buff it into my hairline. Doesn't matter too much if you don't go completely under your eyes because I will be using a concealer and to get that nice and quick. Just get as close as you can. For my concealer, I'm going to be using my NARS Radiant Cream Concealer in the shade Light 2 Vanilla. Holy Ground uh, concealer right here. Just put that underneath your eyes. Just swish it up to follow the shape of your eyeliner, really. Beauty Blender, I'm just going to blend that out. If you haven't got a Beauty Blender, I highly recommend one. They are amazing. My best friend bought me some for my birthday two years ago. 
and I have never ever looked back. They are brilliant. Just keep blending that up. Whatever access I have, I just put it on my top lip. I've got dry skin really bad on my top lip, so I don't like to overpack it. But if you don't, then put concealer on your top lip too. Once that's all blended out, I'm going to be taking my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the colour Banana. I usually use transparent, but got a bit of fake tan on so it kind of helps blend out my skin blend to my skin tone that little bit better just using a flat brush and put it in there packing up some of the excess and just putting that beneath my eyes to set that You can bake it, but I don't like to, just because it makes my skin look even more dry than it already is. So I'm just setting all the places that I put the concealer. In the camera light, I look a lot paler on my face than I am on my neck, but in natural light, it is the same colour. Then for my bronzer, I'm going to go in with my new MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Gold Deposit. It's amazing. I'm just going to use a big brush like this, tap off some of the excess and just buff it in gently. This has got gold flakes in it, so it's absolutely amazing if you want that dewy look. Going under that chin to hide it. And just a little bit on my forehead. I like dusting. This is a nice glow. Considering how dark it is, it's comes out quite nicely. I think it actually would suit quite a lot of skin tones. So once I've done that now, I'm just going to go in with my um, Becca Cosmetics highlighter in Champagne Pop it's by Jacqueline Hill as well. It's a collab, I think, and it's beautiful. Best highlighter ever. Just going to take a, a fan brush into that and just put that on my cheekbones. I'll just do a little bit on top of my lip. Using the same highlighter, I'm just going to take this Real Techniques brush, um, it's a setting brush, oh well, and I'm just going to dip a little bit and I'm just going to put that on my brow bone. And then lastly, I am going to put my Mary Kay uh, Mineral Cheek Colour 
this one. I don't actually know what colour it is. I think it's called Citrus Blue. I think it's for a palette I got it in America. Just that little colour there. And just using sort of an angled fluffy brush. I'm just going to dip into that. Just pat that onto my cheeks. And that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. And I'm hoping to post a lot more videos soon. Thank you.